Hi guys, Zach here with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this game, I'm playing a 3v3 match on the map Destruction Derby. I'm starting in the top left position, playing as the Soviets. Now, for those of you who don't know this map, there is an island of gems in the middle of the map. I won't be able to use it though at this stage because I need to build an MCV and travel there. But we do have two middle teams and for our team to secure the gems, that's like would be quite a big thing because the gems just give you so much extra um, advantage and um, so much extra awe. So what I'm going to be doing at the start is on the opponent's side, Nose is starting in the middle and on our team, Paradius is starting in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going on to attack Nose at the start with my infantry and hopefully uh, we'll be able to do some damage. And we'll just need to keep an eye on our own base because um, there's Matthias who's starting in the top right and he may be sending some infantry across, but I can't see any. And there's his first infantry. Um, so he probably knows what I'm doing at the moment. He'll probably see all my infantry. And I think because he'll see my infantry going downwards, he probably won't risk sending infantry across. And um, that's what I hope anyway. Right, so I've got my first war factory and I'm going to build two ore trucks. It's an ore only map, so I need to make sure I get a good economy at the start. And I have spilt, spent a little extra on infantry. So we're going to go down and see if we can find Nose's base. Because um, I know about where he starts and we can see there's a battle there between Nose and Paradius. Um, so we're going to go in now and you can see Matthias with his light tank. And this is bad because um, obviously light tanks can squash infantry. So I'm going to go for the... Uh, the power plants and um, because that will slow Nose's building speed down and that's quite big because uh, we've managed to get his power down so it's going to make it it's going to make him it harder for him to start and um, you can see he's got two ore trucks out immediately so um, he's obviously building his economy up and and um, that's going to obviously put a make it very hard for him at this stage in the game and you can see Paradius looks like he's going to be securing those gems so hopefully he's going to be able to hold on and get established there right so now I'm getting my tanks out I'm just going to start heading towards Matthias's base and we'll see what he's got so far and um, yeah I can just I was just having a bit, bit of a check there it seems that Paradius is uh, mining those gems on the middle island and um, which is all good for the moment and we're just going to send our tanks uh, to the right now and see what's going on at this uh, on our top side of the map. And what you'll notice is I'm building towards the right now because that ore patch I've just passed, I'm going to try and use. And we see there Matt uses tanks and he's got good numbers and I think I'm going to have to pull back um, from this. Uh, what I do notice though is he's, he's using light tanks. And I know that light tanks are very weak against Tesla. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Tesla coil in my base. So if he does go for a base dive, I'm able to uh, protect myself. Okay, so um, he's got good tank numbers at the moment. Uh, but I'm starting to build my tanks up. My economy is pretty good. And I think he might have compromised his economy a little bit at the start. Uh, because we did see he got that um, first light tank out very, very early. And now we're going on for the attack. Um, it looks like we've got better numbers this time. Uh, remember, I'm using heavy tanks, which are a lot stronger than light tanks. And you can see the light tanks are getting, uh, well, taken apart quite easily. And now Matthias is building medium tanks, um, which is probably not what I really want because I was hoping he'd sort of like go to my base with his light tanks uh, and then get... Uh, destroyed by that Tesla coil but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen um, right so I'm just building uh, towards that ore patch and I should be able to sort of uh, close enough now to build an ore refinery and we're going to go for that uh, war factory and you can see uh, that looks like it looks like it's going to go down and it does and we'll need to obviously take out his construction yard as well. But this uh, is looking quite good at the moment. But we can see the green and blue are attacking uh, Paradius. And um, so he's getting two teamed uh, in that position, unfortunately. And um, so this isn't looking as good for our team at the moment. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and take out uh, this war factory here. So let's see. It's on low HP. And it looks like it's going to go down. And it does. Um, so that's Matthias, he has no tanks left and I'm going to need to pull back from that position unfortunately because I just don't have enough to take out that barracks. 
And we can see the orange uh, don't look to be in a good position either. Uh, they were building um, some boats, which probably wasn't the best uh, plan in this game. Uh, now, although it was, I guess it was cruisers, so they could have done some damage to Nose's base, possibly with that, if it was just like one or two. Um, so yeah, it could have been uh, reasonable, actually. Um, but we can see that Matthias is here, and Nose is coming with his heavy tanks now. And we could also see Paradius was actually on the middle island, so he's not completely dead um, at the moment. Um, right, so Nose is uh, advancing now, and I'm going to need to pull back with those tanks, uh, because he's got good tank numbers, a lot better than I do. And I'm building another Tesla coil, just for a bit, little bit more protection, in case he gets to my base. Because even though he's using heavy tanks, Teslas still do a lot of damage. And we can see he's pushing up at the moment. Uh, he's in quite a bad position, actually, around this uh, cliff. Um, so I'm going to be able to pick up, off a couple of tanks here. And you can see how my tanks are grouped together. And Matthias is going in with these infantry. Right, so we'll uh, pull back again now. Because uh, uh, those tank numbers are looking good. And we can see he's actually hesitant to come too close. Because he, he probably can see that Tesla coil. I can't remember how much Matthias scouted at the start, because I don't think he actually got quite that close to my base. But I think he's got pretty close to that Tesla coil, it possibly became visible there. And uh, we're starting to push back now, it's looking alright. Um, Matthias is pulling those infantry back, but he's pulling them forward again. And, yeah, this, I mean, you can squash them, but they are, they are really, really annoying. And they do actually do quite a bit of damage. They can make a difference, definitely, in a tank fight. Uh, but you can see Nose is pulling back now. And I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just building more ore refineries just to increase my economy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for that barracks now to get rid of those infantry that Matthias is producing. And it looks like that barracks is going to go down. And it does. And now we're going to be able to fight Nose. Who seems to have an aeroplane there. I think that's just uh, probably building it for map visibility. Uh, so you can obviously use uh, things like uh, spy planes and uh, paratroopers. Right, so this is looking quite good at the moment. Oh, but Green is coming in as well. So that's Darren from the bottom of the map. And yeah, he's got quite a few heavy tanks there. And I'm going to need to pull back at the moment. Um, I've got another ore refinery I'm just placing there. Yeah, and we'll have to see how this is going. He's going towards my base. And Marcus, with a lot of twos, has been defeated. And we're going to need to pull back because Darren's going for my base. And we, I know we still have Paradius. I think he was on that middle island uh, of gems. But uh, he'll, I, I don't know what how much he can do from there. And we can see Darren's got a massive army. And he's coming from the other side. And that's just too many tanks. There's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to hold against that. And that is going to be good game. So yeah, as soon as he destroyed Marcus, he just brought all his tanks up, and yeah, there's absolutely no way we can hold against that, unfortunately. Um, so, yep, and this is what's happening basically lower down the map. So actually, uh, Paradis has actually got some things, uh, tanks left, and uh, he's just, just finishing off Nose, and I think that's why Nose had to pull back um, from that fight, but as you can see, he's just stuck on the middle island, so there's not really much he can do. I think uh, in that match, I just wasn't able to defeat Matthias quickly enough. And I, that meant I couldn't provide support to the middle. I get, if I'd been able to destroy Matti, Matthias a bit earlier, maybe things would have been a little bit different. And you can see uh, Green's just got overwhelming tank numbers here. Also, uh, Nose and Matthias did a good job against the early infantry. I wasn't able to do enough damage to Nose. Uh, I was able to take up those two power plants, but uh, they were still able to overpower the middle with Darren's help. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.